What's up YouTube, this is DWS Darius and today you're in my fish room. Today I want to give you guys a look at some of the major headlines and topics of the fish room. Um, the big differences and just things that I find to be awesome. Now this is going to be a different type of video, I'm going to be just jumping from topic to topic. So let me know in the comment section what you think of this video. But yeah, I spent the last five days home and I had a lot more time to look at these fish tanks. And you know, there's a lot of awesomeness occurring and today I want to give you guys a look at some of the top awesome events that I witnessed while I was here. Okay everyone, so the first stop is going to be at my 40 gallon reef aquarium and this tank lives a fish that is becoming one of my all time favorites. Now you know I say that a lot, but this fish is becoming one of my favorites on a different level and this is my Platinum Clownfish. Now this little guy reminds me of an Oscar cichlid. You all know Oscars are known because they're just very bold fish. They're very um, characteristic. They have a lot of cool personalities. And this fish reminds me of my old Oscar. I used to keep a 12 inch albino red Oscar and it was just an amazing fish. Tons of personality. And this little guy is very similar. He comes to the glass and just greets me every day. I come to the top of the tank and he comes sometimes and sticks his head out of the water. So a really cool personality on this fish. And on top of that, I love his behavior of um, just living inside these yellow polyps. He loves to host them and it's just awesome to see. Now the crazy thing is that when I first bought this fish, I really didn't like him. Um, when you look at him close up, he has like a deformed mouth. And he also has like a defect when it comes to swimming, he just can't stop. But you know, over time, he became one of my favorite fish. I love him. Once again, his personality, his boldness, his willingness just to come and test me in a sense, because this is a little fish. I'm a big person, so the way he comes to me is like, in a sense, he's testing me. But at the end of the day, he's one of my favorite fish. I love seeing him in his yellow polyps. I love him just him interacting with me, and he's definitely awesome. Okay everyone, so now we're looking at my 125 gallon African cichlid tank. The fish in front of you is my female mason reef cichlid. So we all know fish are able to change colors for many different reasons. That's like their major way of communicating with each other when they're happy or when they're um, dominant, they show a nice bright healthy coloration. And then when they're not so happy, when they're less dominant, they show a duller coloration. So I've been watching this female mason reef and out of all the fish I keep, I think her transformation is just the most significant. You can see right here she's not really feeling too happy and I think it's because I'm in front of the, in front of the glass. Usually I'm not this close but um, this is the color she shows when I'm up close to the glass. This is the color she shows when she's being chased and harassed. But you're going to see how she looks when she's around other fish because you know this is a community. Some of the fish she's above, some of them she's beneath. And um, I think it's pretty cool to see just the transformation that this fish goes through every couple of minutes. Because even now you can see the stripes starting to come in. Okay everyone, so next we're going to take a look at my 29 gallon Hillstream Aquarium. So all the fish in this tank originate from Asia. For those of you who follow my channel, you'll know that there has been a major rescape to this tank. I'll get to that in a fish room update video a little bit later on. But um, the thing I want to show you guys is this goldfish. Now I rescued this goldfish a couple of weeks ago. Now 
Now the thing is, I made that video about four or five weeks ago, and this fish is already about three times bigger than she was in that video. So the initial plan was to keep her in this 30 gallon tank until spring, but if she keeps this growth rate up, by spring she'll be about five or six inches, and imagine a five or six inch fish swimming in this tank. So um, I was just trying to figure out why goldfish grow so fast, and I think it's because they're always eating. I feed this tank twice a day, but even when I don't feed them, food is still everywhere because this tank is covered in algae, which is what I prefer. This, is, this tank is home to my hillstream loaches. Um, you can see one back there grazing on algae back there, and also I have um, a freshwater goby, and most of the fish in this tank, they eat algae, so um, that's the main reason why the goldfish always have something to eat. And because of that, it's been growing like crazy. So um, that's been pretty cool to see. But at the same time, pretty scary because I don't have any other tank suitable for a goldfish. So um, she's gonna have to stay in this tank until the temperature outside gets warm enough. And how big is she gonna get before she's able to go outside? Okay, everyone, the last thing I wanna show you guys is this big fish right here. This is the biggest fish that I currently keep, my butter cofri tilapia cichlid. Let me see if I can give you guys a size reference. But yeah, the biggest fish that I keep, for those of you who follow my channel, you know that originally um, she was in this tank by herself because she was just very misbehaved. But then she started to act well, so I brought her upstairs. When she was in this tank, it was no plant, so it was just empty. Then I took her upstairs to the 210. In that tank, she was doing well for a couple of weeks, but then she just went crazy and she attacked all the fish. And she just didn't want them to be seen. She had them hiding in all these cracks and corners of the tank and you know that was just untolerable so I ended up taking all the fish that were in this tank and I took them upstairs and now she's down here and um look at her she has a guilty face the crazy thing about this fish is that she's like transforming again upstairs she was crazy whenever I stick my hand into the tank to clean it she attacked me now she's down here in the fish room and it's like she's having flashbacks um, she's remembering the good old days when she used to get some nice treats Right here is a tube effects worm, and I used to feed her these. This is her favorite food, so I'm going to put one in the tank right now and see if she goes for it. But yeah, this is her favorite treat, and because she's down here, because she's been getting those treats, she's actually changing her personality again. Originally, when she was down here, she was behaving in that tank, and that's the reason why I took her upstairs. She's down here again. She's getting her favorite treats, and once again, she's not a bad fish. I can stick my hand in the tank, and I don't have to worry about being attacked. Normally, if she was upstairs, she would have tried to take off my finger. So um, it's just crazy to see such a huge transformation in this fish. Um, I hate the fact that she's just so mean. Sometimes she attacks the silver dollars in this tank. Um, and I can't add any of the fish to this tank. But um, it's just still cool to see that change of personality. Okay, everyone. So that's been a look at just some of the major topics of the fish room. So let me know what you guys think about this video. I just was noticing a lot of awesomeness and I didn't want to make a separate video for all these different things. So I decided to throw them all in one video. So let me know what you think about that. Um, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you want more, make sure you subscribe because you know I got a lot for you guys. And um, I'll see you in the next one.